Deep in the heart of the Pacific Ocean lies some of the world's most intriguing megalithic sites. Were they once part of a lost continent known in ancient legends as Mu? And what do we know of the original inhabitants, the Lapita people? The remains of an ancient culture are seen across the Pacific in the artefacts they left behind. But even more striking are the remnants of impressive megalithic monuments, pyramidal platforms, star mounds, and fascinating astronomical timepieces in stone. In Search of Mu unlocks the secrets of ancient Polynesia. Contemporary scientific discovery and spiritual wisdom are brought together to reveal the higher heritage of an ancient seafaring culture. We're looking now at the concept of the ocean behind us, connecting us with the ancient civilizations of the Pacific known as Mu, or the traditions, of what the Japanese scholars think of in the traditions of Kimu and Jimu, the great, shall we say, ancestors of scattered people of the Pacific who linguistically and ethnically were connected with a super civilization, the contours of which include much of Southeast Asia and some of the atolls when they were at a higher elevation. Right, there seems to be ruins, literally we'll say a type of step pyramids or terraces in some of these Polynesian cultures they don't understand it. They don't even know why they're there. Hidden away in the jungles of Opolo in Samoa is an intriguing stone circle known as La Fale o la Fei, or the House of the Octopus. Legend says it was built to appease the octopus god, one of the most common deities in Samoan tradition. What we see at the House of the Octopus is a number of basalt columns quarried from a nearby location. Some of the pillars have fallen over over the years, but you can still see some of them standing around a metre in height, arranged in a circular fashion around the central raised platform. The higher heritage of the ancients is shown in unique astronomical alignments at the site. One could say this is the Stonehenge of the South Pacific. Small mounds with star-like projections are found throughout the Samoan islands. Their exact function remains a mystery, but suggestions include the use of these mounds as residential structures, fortifications or territorial markers. European explorers often described star mounds in connection to pigeon catching, but rather than actually catching birds, this can be interpreted as a ritual that portrays the coming together of the human evolution and the higher evolution. Pyramidal mounds are found across Polynesia, including the imposing Pulamele Mound on the island of Savai'i in Samoa. Pulamele is perhaps the largest pyramid in the South Pacific and is thought to have been constructed around 1100 AD. So there's a whole city complex showing an intricate design of platforms and ceremonial points. And also upon this platform there are certain key seatings or seat areas made of stone. The pyramid aligns perfectly to the cardinal directions and was clearly used by the ancients to calculate unique astronomical relationships. But the question is, does it connect with regions of positive star programming like Orion and the Pleiades? Divine yod heh may the Lewesh bless this point and come as the pillar of light. Ultimately, in the higher sense, there is no separation between past, present and future. The keys to our evolution will be found in future artefacts from history, showing our greater heritage and interconnection amongst all ancient cultures. Our past can teach us lessons for the future. In doing so, negative cycles of evolution don't have to be repeated, allowing the advancement of the human race to greater levels of glory. Inspired by the Book of Knowledge, The Keys of Enoch, this is part of a larger project to document the world's sacred sites presented in the book The Overself Awakening by Drs. JJ and Desiree Hurtak. The aim of the project is to present the higher significance of sacred sites around the world and how we are to be the living divine temple to activate these places as well as our own light body in order to enter the celestial time doors to worlds of cosmic co-participation and co-evolution.